program in python.com I am back with another video Here in this video I am going to print the pattern of letter O In the previous videos I have told you how to print the patterns up to letter N So here is a video on letter O So if you want all the previous videos on this letter patterns I will put it in the description below And also I will pin it in the comments And in the I button in the right corner of this video so make sure you click that i button for all the previous videos on these letter patterns so now let's get started with pattern of letter o so guys this is the pattern of letter o i'm going to print now so let's see how we can print this pattern like all of the previous patterns we need to check for some conditions like where we can print stars and where we can print spaces here we can print stars and four of the conditions like this is a first row, last row, I mean first column, last column, first row, and last row. If you if we directly print stars in all the rows and columns, it will look like a square, like a square or, or like a box. It won't look like an O. So to make it look like O, we'll remove this last corner this last corner this last corner and this last corner you see, you see this here i have removed all the corners so in that way we can form an o so basically we need to print stars in all the all the sides like first row last like first column last column first row and last row so right condition for printing stars in all these four sides and then make some adjustment to remove these spaces so let us consider this size as some so first let me count it so let me count the size like all right 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 4 that is f that is the size is 5 that is a square 5 by 5 square for explanation in this uh, for explanation purpose i'm taking the size statically as 5 and this size in few moments i'll go to a pycharm id where I code this program, there I will ask the user to uh, where I prompt the user to enter the size and I will take that size, based upon that size, this size of this letter may vary here, I am taking it statically as 5 so as you know, uh, these are called rows these are called columns so first I will loop these rows and columns for R, R means rows in range of S for C means columns in range of S for rows and columns I have done so now I have to print stars in first row last row, first column, last column so let condition for that if R equal to equal to 0 that is first row R equal to equal to S minus 1 last row C equal to equal to 0 first column c equal to equal to s minus 1 this is the last column so now if i print if i leave it like this as i said you will see a box so we need to make some adjustments to remove this spaces if you see this row this first row and there are some other conditions here that is when we are printing this first row the column should not be equal to 0 and the column should not be equal to the last one that is s minus 1 so write column not equal to 0 and column not equal to s minus 1 see that is the condition right so i will print in the first row this is column 0 and this is column s minus 1 that is the last column so that should not be column should not be equal to 0 and row should not be equal to s minus 1 that is the condition for printing first row and even for the last row, that is the same conditions. This is the first column, this is the last column. So write the same conditions. C not equal to 0 and C not equal to S minus 1. That is for first row and last row with this uh, corners adjusted. And for columns, it will be same. But instead of columns, we will write rows here. So this is the first column. In the first column, I should see that should not be first row and that should not be last row. So I'll write R not equal to equal to not equal to 0 and R not equal to S minus 1. And similarly here, R not equal to 0 and R not equal to S minus 1. 
So these are the conditions for columns. R should not be equal to zero. R should not be equal to s minus one. R should not be equal to zero. R should not be equal to s minus one. So these are the conditions for printing stars. That means in all these conditions, we we'll print stars like these three stars, these three, these three, and these three. So we'll write print star. Here I have written n. If you follow all the if you follow all the previous videos, you know why I have written this n. By default, print takes ration as an n. That means after printing this star, it will go to the next line. But we don't want that. It should go up to. It should complete an iteration in a straight line. So for that purpose, I'll give n as space or empty. So that's it for these conditions. And in else, I'll simply print spaces. And after all the iteration, I mean first iteration, it should go to the next line. That means next iteration. For that, after this first for, I'll print empty print. It will go to the next line. That's it about the program to print pattern of letter O. Hope you understood. There are four simple conditions like first row, last row, first column, last column, and minor adjustments to remove the extra corners. So that's the program on letter O. Now I'll go to my Python IDE. Code the same program, execute it, execute it, see the output. I am in a PyCharm IDE guys. So here I will print the pattern of letter O which I have just discussed. So I will first take the size from the user. That is input. Enter the size. I'll also cast this to integer so that only integer values can be uh, taken and I'll also check whether this size is less than 8 or not uh, this is nothing related to the program I just check this uh, uh, to uh, format the output so that the output looks better if the letter is big so I, I'll, just, I'll just ask enter a size minimum of 8 and if the size is already greater than 8 then I'll just call the function I mean print pattern I'll call the pattern function here and I'll pass the size here so I'll define this function and in this function we'll be able to print that pattern of letter O so and then call the size as n here in this function actual function as I said as, as I said in the whiteboard, there will be two loops, one for row looping, for row in range of n, and another one for column looping, for column in range of n. So there are two loops, row looping, column looping, and if you see in the letter O, it has uh, lines in all the corners like uh, all the corners like uh, the first column last column first row and last row so let me write conditions for those first and later we can remove that star in that corner extra star in that corner to make it more reasonable O so if row equal to equal to zero or row equal to equal to n minus 1 or column equal to equal to equal to 0 or column equal to equal to n minus 1 so in all these cases uh, we need to print stars I'll print star and I'll do n as empty uh, by default print takes n as next line so if I don't give this n as empty it will print the star and it will go to the next line we don't want that we want to continue the pattern so I have given this n as space we can give space or empty whatever we want and 
and in else condition I need to print spaces and you got to can give space or empty I'm moving a, a, a space and after this first for loop after first iteration it should go to the next line so I'll just give an empty print so what will happen if I run this is it will uh, uh, give us O in the shape of a box so let me run this and let me run this and show you if I give size of uh, 12 you see it became like a box instead of this O so what I'll do is I'll now I'll make some conditions to remove this star this star here this star here and this star here so that uh, it will look uh, more reasonable so uh, and here rho equal equal to 0 and so if you see the output this is the row 1 so in rows what we have to check is row should be equal to 0 and the column should not be equal to 0 and column should not be equal to the last one that means n minus 1 so what I'll do is and column not equal to 0 and column not equal to n minus 1 so this same condition will apply for the last column as well so for the last row as well even for this row column should not be equal to 0 column should not be equal to last one so so and for uh, so now okay I have to give here and so similarly for if you consider for columns it should be rows here rho should not be equal to 0 and rho should not be equal to n minus 1 so if you see this first column here the rho should not be equal to first row rho should not be equal to last row even for the last column rho should not be equal to first row rho should not be equal to last row just the reverse of this so so even here I will also copy it so this, uh, these are the conditions for the removing that last star in the corner so now if I run this now if I give a size of 12 actually here it should, it should be row okay, so I give size of 12 you see the O is printed the, the last uh, star has been removed from all the corners and it looks more reasonable I give a size of 8 you can see this is O we want this is a perfect O so this is how we print the pattern of letter O hello everyone hope you like the video if you like it please consider subscribing to my channel programming and python.com and I'm going to continue this series letter series up to letter Z so stay tuned for those complete letter patterns and also I'll be sharing the code of this complete uh, tutorial on the github and I'll share the link in the description and also I'll post the blog post I'll also make a blog post on this and I will also post that link also in the description so make sure you look at the description along with these links I'll provide some useful uh, links to some courses and some discounts so make sure you look at the description so that's it for this video stay tuned for more videos from programming in python.com see you in the next video bye bye